Hi Capricorn, this is going to be your weekly love reading, okay? Somebody may be setting some boundaries up right now, or there is a need to put some boundaries in place. Some of you all could not be talking to your divine masculine or divine feminine. That could be like, I'm taking a break. I need healing from this person. Oh, strictly sexual. Oh my gosh. All these cards fell out. Ooh, this is about to get juicy. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even think I've ever seen this card in this deck. Okay. First of all, somebody here wants to come back. I feel, I'm feeling two separate energies here. I feel like regret is, there's definitely somebody here who I feel like the divine feminine, now, you know, you can flip and switch the roles, but I'm just telling you what I get from this situation. Right off the back, I'm getting somebody that's some four swords energy, healing energy, pulling their energy bags. They set some boundaries with someone with a connection because it was purely sexual. <laughs> Okay, it says the connection is passionate but not enduring, okay? I don't know. Now, for some of y'all, that could just be like a very, very, you know, that's how you felt. And that's another reason why you had to heal and disconnect yourself from the situation. Then you've got new love, forgiveness, and regret, which is like somebody wanting to come back that you aren't currently talking to, okay? Uh, for some of you all, this could be the same damn person. Let's just keep it real. You know, the person you set boundaries with, wants to come back and that they want to come back just purely for sex. Okay? This has got divine masculine written all over it. This is some divine masculine shit, by the way. If this is the same person, this is I'm guaranteeing you this is divine masculine behavior. Okay? I, I'm not I love you if you're divine masculine, but I am just telling you that is the energy that I'm seeing right here. I'm telling you, watch. I'm telling you, let me pull some more of these cards. Mm. somebody wants forgiveness yeah see loving yourself first passion you see what i'm saying when you have passion and um hey y'all know i don't like these cards to be all crooked right when you have strictly sexual and passion Allow your heart to sing, like, yeah, mm, I don't feel like this is allow your heart to sing the joy type situation, honestly, especially if you did, you know, you have to set boundaries with this person. Show me what else. Mm. <laughs> Somebody's trying, having a hard time trying to contain themselves. If you've been away from this person, they are having a hard time trying to contain themselves, okay? Because these cards just flew out like crazy. Or the, or, or the connection between the two of you, the passion and the chemistry between the two of you is just like off the charts, okay? Getting to know each other and let go of control issues, okay? The bottom of the deck is soulmate. I mean, some of you all, this person is your soulmate. You, not some of you, all of you. This is your soulmate, okay? The soulmate is trying to let go of having... I feel like, you know what, you guys, honestly, this divine masculine love to have control. They love to have control. They love to control a conversation, you know, or like had to have... This is like giving me energy of like somebody having to have the, the last word or, the, or make a point or be right, you know. What else? trust yeah there could have been some trust issues in the past you know with this person i feel like this person was doing some things behind your back to be quite honest you guys i've never paid attention to the, the guy in this um He's holding like this wand or this stick and she doesn't really see it, but it's like he's doing some old tricky ma magic shit behind her back. Now, I know that's not for everybody. There are a few of you, though, I will tell you, like, you you set the boundary on this other past person where it was strictly sexual and you get new love coming in and you are having a hard time trusting new love. Okay. Um... 
that's just what it is. Everybody's story is going to be different. Okay. So let me pull from this other deck and see what else is going on for the... Show me what's going on with the Divine Masculine, please. Show me what's... The Divine Masculine's energy. Tragedy. Forbidden love. Okay. What was forbidden? Something was forbidden, boy. So that makes sense, though, with healing and setting boundaries and being strictly sexual. Let's just be honest, you guys. This could have been a third-party situation. Show me more for the Divine Masculine. And the Divine Masculine was um, had you in a third-party situation. They were dealing with more than one person. Then we have... <laughs> Show me more for the Divine Masculine. Hold on, this is getting about to get funny. <laughs> divine Masculine energy, please. Mm. Divine Masculine wants to talk. Mm hmm. They want to talk. Mm. Bottom of the deck is love affair. Dirty little secret down low. Somebody got some secrets, okay? So either you were the secret or it was a secret that this person, the divine masculine, was seeing somebody else, okay? And that could have been why you set your boundaries, okay? This person definitely wants to talk. They do want to offer new love. You're single. This person could be worried about you know, there's a part of this person, I feel like they just kept something from you. You know, like they kept things from you or they kept this other person that they were dealing with from you. Or someone's not willing to, to let go of control and face the truth of their own actions. All right. So I don't know, the vibe masculine, if they're coming towards you, if they've changed much, you know, I don't know if they change much. Because I don't know who's not facing the truth. You know, that could be, you know, them, they were in denial too for a while. And they're finally coming to like some form of a realization. You know what I'm saying? Because we did see that they feel remorseful for maybe putting you through this situation. Show me energy from the Divine Feminine, please. Energy from the Divine Feminine. The, the Divine Feminine is on her shit. Or his shit. The Ace of Pentacles. Divine Feminine is like in, in, in the energy of abundance. Wait, can y'all see that? I don't want this to... Divine Feminine is in the energy of abundance. That's, that is um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Earth energy. Okay, you're grounded if you're the Divine Feminine. And, or you're just working on your money. Or you have a new beginning coming in money. Okay? You have a new opportunity or something coming in with money. Money's going to be getting better. Okay? Um, you're dreaming and having, receiving messages. It's almost like you know what's going on. You know that the Divine Masculine is going through this process. Or you could be dreaming about the Divine Masculine too. Oh, you had a dream that the Divine Masculine was going to apologize to you and come back. I <laughs> see. Apology. Forgiveness. We already have forgiveness here on the board. I mean, you know, this is not funny, you know, because, you know, the Divine Masculine in this card does look pretty stressed. You dreamt about it or you know it. You know, also, this could be you getting this... Apology. Okay. It, we already know it's, it's they're thinking about it. Show me more divine feminine energy, please. You feel like this person owes you an apology. Cycle. You completed a cycle, too. Look at you. You completed a cycle. Congratulations. You definitely completed a cycle with this person. Set up your boundaries. Did your healing. 
you know, distanced yourself from something that you may have thought was strictly se sexual or there was an imbalance in the situation or you were somebody's secret or you were a third party to something. You're just ready to be over it. You're ready to change. Okay. There's a new, definitely a new. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Something new and good. Some new and good changes coming your way. We have celebration, gifts, and abundance. Like this is this Ace of Pentacles energy is this abundant energy. So the divine feminine, I mean, great. All right, how does the divine let's get some more messages on more for the divine masculine? All right, what action will the divine masculine be taking towards the divine feminine? What action will the divine masculine be taking towards the divine feminine, please? Mm. I said, what action? And look what came out. Action, <laughs> courage, new, begin, new beginnings. They're going. They're look, coming to look for you. Okay? They, they are coming to look for you. Healing again, inner child. Healing inner child wounds. Healing keeps coming up here. Like, healing is... is mm. This person said they... Divine Masculine said you, you... Put a mirror up to them and and trigger some form of heal you trigger them to heal and take a look at themselves in the mirror or heal in some inner child wounds that we talked about earlier right and then we have change so yeah this person maybe they are coming out of this denial stage and they're ready to change and they're working up the courage what actions yeah see you see this is this facade i think they're coming out they're having a tower moment um, you know, they're the facade and the 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 fake facade and the belief system is like came crashing down, I feel like, you know. And then we have the four of wands energy. The integration and union card for me is like um the four of wands, which is somebody wanting reunion, right? Union here, coming together. <clears throat> Let's pull some tarot though. And see, no, I don't want those cards. All right. You know what? I don't want this deck either. Where's my other deck at? That's what I'm looking for. Let me see. Sorry, you guys. I'm going to use this other deck. Hit the like button for me, you guys. Okay. I want to use my modern witch tarot deck. But I have stuff all over the place. Sorry, you guys. Okay. Show me here how the Divine Masculine feels about the Divine Feminine. How does the Divine Masculine feel about the Divine Feminine, please? Okay. <laughs> there goes that disappointment and the regret. Somebody's upset and disappointed. Four Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Then we have the Four Cups. I'm sorry. Then we have, this is the Four Cups. Then we have the Ten of Pentacles, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy. Ten of Pentacles is about family, stability. Somebody could be disappointed in their family. Or they're disappointed they didn't have a family with you. This person could have thought they would have had a family with you by now. Or they wanted to do that. And there's some disappointment that that may not happen at this point. Show me how the divine masculine feels about the divine feminine. This the divine masculine also feels felt like or feels no not felt like they because this is currently how they feel. This is their energy now. They feel like you know they could have a family with you. They could build a legacy with you. They can make money with you. You know, and I see why because you know your energy that came up earlier, divine feminine, was Ace of Pentacles energy. So yeah. Mm -hmm. The star, somebody could be an Aquarius here. You are a hope. This was a hope for this person, a wish fulfillment. Divine 
masculine um did want a family with you they do they still do and they're they are in deep regret show me how the divine masculine feels about the divine feminine yeah see they are in deep regret they are emotional about this really emotional could be dealing with a cancer but they feel like you know somebody's guarded here seven of wands aries leo sagittarius energy bottom of the deck and there you go there's an empress taurus energy here so you're showing up as they they see you as the empress that's why they want you know the empress is and is you know you're doing good for yourself you bring something to the table you bring quite a bit to the table if you're in ace of pentacles energy and then this person views you as the star and the ten of pentacles okay like you 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 are the shit <laughs> that's what the cards say they do you know somebody could have kept some secrets and i know we talked about that earlier here too right um the moon is about fears secrets the unknown and being emotional not being aware of like this this snake in the grass you know there are some things or somebody here lurking that you don't see there's something here that you don't see And it's almost like somebody's protecting. You may not have seen the divine mask and it could have been for trying to protect you from something. That message is not going to be for everybody. I don't even know what that's about, but okay. All right. Show me more here for the divine mask. Ooh, it could be dealing with a Capricorn. You don't have to be the devil energy. You know, the devil is about attachments. Somebody could read, you know, that's probably why you had to set up your boundaries. That could also be this strictly sexual energy. You could have feel, you feel bound to this person. Well, really, this is them feeling bound to you sexually, to be quite honest. Uh, you know, let me just say, let me just call a spade a spade, you guys. <laughs> Show me more here. For the divine masculine. Let me call a spell. Ooh, hold on. I dropped the card. Guess what just fell on the floor? The nine of cups. Okay, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. And then this flipped over but didn't fall on the floor. The page of cups. That's the apology card. Your wish fulfillment. I think this person just is really sexually attracted to you. And they can't stop thinking about it. They want to offer, they want to, you see, 1010, some of you guys could be seeing 1010 10 too, okay? Because the Nine of Cups is here and the Page of Cups is here. Like, this person can't let you, they're having a hard time let you, letting you go. They want to offer you this cup so bad. They're so nervous because they see you as like this wish and this gift and it's like you're doing good you're in this nine of cups energy over here looking good and this person's looking at you like well i've got my one cup i want to bring you i want your cup to you know i want to make 10 cups because the 10 cups is the family right and we already have a 10 of pentacles here so to me this is like 10 of cups 10 of pentacles energy already even though i don't see the 10 of cups here it's the same like, they want a family with you. They love you. They want stability. They, they, yeah, I think I said all that. Give me one more card, please, for the Divine Masculine. That's also my apology card. And this is like, I want to make an offer card. This could be a gift. Page of Pentacles energy. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, somebody wants to offer something. <laughs> they view you, Queen of Pentacles, as valuable. The Queen of Pentacles is somebody who is like, you know, the mother you've shown up as this very successful nurturing um yeah mm. i wonder if this off this is some let me let me clarify this page of pentacles why is a page of pentacles here for some of y'all this could be somebody offering something to somebody else behind your back ace of wands so for some of y'all, that's what it is, okay? Apply it where it fits. For some of y'all, it's this person offers something to somebody else behind your back. But for a lot of you, I feel like 
this person's offer. This person may come around with a gift, a small gift, but they really want to give you that wand. They want to have sex with you. So you, you give, give me another card for the Page of Pentacles, please. Why is Page of Pentacles here? I'm just telling you. We got the Ace of Wands here, the Devil here, strictly sexual here, boundaries. Clarify the Page of Pentacles, please. Okay, and then the Strength card is here again. I think we saw that earlier. Um, could be dealing with a Leo. Ooh, somebody is trying to hold back. Oh my God, this person is trying to hold back, you guys. Leo energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. This person is trying to hold back so bad. Look what's on the bottom of the date. It could be a Gemini. The lovers. Mm, 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 mm. This person has got it bad for you. Clarify this page of cups, please. This person got it bad for you. They're like, please take my cup. I'm sorry. And you're, you got your arms folded. Page of cups. You know, be careful. The the Seven of Swords was just clarified by the Page of Cups. Okay, so this person could want to come back towards you and beg you, but like it's only just to have sex. Queen of Wands. Leo energy. Doesn't have to be a Leo, but clarify this Page of Cups, please. Or there's like something this person isn't telling you. Page of Cups. Ooh, for some of y'all, they're married. Four of Wands, or they're your twin flame. <clears throat> hmm. We saw third party something here, so just apply that where it fits. Bottom of the deck is Temperance. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Why is it Seven of Swords here? Clarify the Seven of Swords, please. Oof. The Hermit. Somebody's not saying something or telling the truth or telling everything. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Somebody's waiting to look at that. So this King of Wands is waiting. And then we've got this Queen of Wands who's also like not taking any action. You're not talking. They're not talking. <laughs> like this queen of wands and their backs are facing, like they're not facing each other. They, their backs are turned to each other. You know, this king of wands is looking at the seven of pentacles, like waiting, trying to decide. If, do they want to do this? Do they want to invest any time or any, anything into this? They, they know why they want to, but it's like, they're kind of waiting and sitting on their hands. Then this queen of wands is like quiet. You're quiet, you know, in hermit mode, basically. <laughs> this is so funny. And then there's somebody rushing in, Knight of, Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Let me move on to a different deck. That is so funny, you guys. Because I want to clarify with a different deck real quick. Because I want more information about the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here, please? Clarify the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Com it's complicated. Spirit said it's complicated and it's confusing. Mm. Seven of Swords, Divine Masculine. Well, we know that's the Divine Masculine in Seven of Swords energy. Thank you, Spirit. The Divine Masculine is confused or they may have kept you in some form of confusion. Like I said, they kept some things from you or it was just complicated. So that's why they kept things from you that maybe like they protected you from a situation they tried to protect you from a situation. What is going on? Happiness and enjoyment and kindness. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Show me more. Happiness could be coming very soon for you. <laughs> or this could just be the Divine Masculine coming towards you soon. This Divine Masculine is trying to figure some shit out. That could also be the Seven of Swords. Like They're trying to figure out a way 
to offer some stability. Mm hmm. What else here? Okay, I'm gonna move on to a different deck and let's see what the Divine Masculine has to say. Show me messages from the Divine Masculine. What does the Divine Masculine want to say to the Divine Feminine that he's not saying or she's not saying? Mm -mm. All right, they said I could still feel you. <laughs> I fell on the floor. Um, I'm never not thinking of you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you were in my dreams last night. Damn, that's so funny. Didn't when we did Divine Feminine energy, didn't we, you guys? Um, you were dreaming too. Or this could have been you. Okay, all these cards just fill out. I'll take them, but no, I'm not gonna take them. You touched me so deeply. I'm going to take that top. You touched me so deeply. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, the two of you could be dreaming about each other. Okay. Uh, they said, come back to me. Come back to me. I'm begging you, please. I want you to. That's Janet Jackson, y'all. Go listen to it. Go listen to it. I was never ready for you to leave. Yeah, you protected yourself and blocked them from something here. For some of you all, it could be physically blocked, whatever. You just, as simple as you setting some boundaries and deciding to heal and separate yourself from a situation, whatever. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> this was an interesting reading today. All right, the signs you could be dealing with are Aquarius, a Capricorn, a Taurus, Aquarius again, we got it, Spirit, a Scorpio, or these signs, you could be one of these signs, Capricorn is here again, Taurus is here again, jeez, Leo is here, Scorpio is here again, this is funny. And Aries is here again, okay? Now, you know, you could still be dealing with whoever else I called out here on the board. We had air energy, so Gemini was here. Libra, Cancer, Aries, Leo, Sag, Strong Leo, okay? So you guys hit the like button. That's your reading. Love you. Bye.